weird. That's really weird. What up? This your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. So we got another rapper in the building. Say what's up to your boy Jadakiss. All right. Now, Jadakiss is a legend. Legend from the locks. Hold on. Bear with me, y'all. Uh. He's a legend from the locks. Super group locks. Jadakiss. Sheik Looch. Styles P. Uh, legend in the game, leader of the group, considered leader of the group. Now, uh, Jada Kiss has worked with the likes of the Notorious B.I.G., Puffy, in the late 90s. He has a song with Jay-Z in the late 90s. Um, Jada Kiss is just in a very good position. You know, for any of y'all that don't know who he is, it's my job to let y'all know who he is, man. Now, <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, let's get into his first album, Kiss the Game Goodbye. Let's get into the features. Now, we got E. McCain, Antoine Staten, Nas, Pharrell, Styles P, Eve, Sheik Luch, Big Will, Cross, Ice Pick, Parlay, Carl Thomas, Swiss Beats, Snoop Dogg, Lashonda, Nate Dogg, Dragon, Infrared, Fiend, 8-Ball, Young One, DMX, and Nesby. Now, I think during this time, after this album, uh, he kind of got into a beef with uh, 50 Cent. And 50 Cent was part of Eminem's camp. I think I'm timing this right, because I think Eminem's on this album. Let's get into the features first and I'm explain that story. Now we got your boy Snoop Dogg, DJ Quick, Nate Dogg, Anthony Hamilton, Mariah Carey, Pharrell, Sheik Luch, Swiss Beats, Styles P, Kanye West, Eminem, and Nasha. Now, Eminem, I think Eminem respected Jadakiss in his wordplay. Right. But the problem is Jadakiss was beefing with uh, 50 Cent. 50 Cent came in around 2003. He was beef with everybody. He was the biggest thing out back in 2003. So when M, <laughs> when M got on that Jadakiss song, because 50 was dissing, I believe, Ja Rule, uh, Fat Joe and Jadakiss. So and then DJ Khaled brought them brought them along. I think that he got them all three on one song. I think so. So when Eminem did that, it, it kind of it kind of made it hard to <laughs> because it's like somebody you can't fucking with somebody you don't like. So it kind of threw everything off. And um, man, Jada Kiss at this time he was kind of hot. Rough Riders, you know, he had that one song on here. Can't get out my head. Why? Uh, back in our days, we had we didn't have a bunch of nonsense. I mean, we had some nonsense, but we had uh, Nas with. Uh, this is when I was in middle school, towards high school. I didn't get to high school to two thousand six, so I was in middle school around this time. We had a. Uh, I can. When we were teenagers, we had music like I can, why. Uh, where's the love? We had different type of music, you know, so it's definitely interesting seeing how the times has changed and how everything is just party turn up, party turn up. And, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You just got to have a balance. So let's get into his next album, man. We got The Last Kiss. This is supposed to be his last album. Thank God it ain't. Now, um, I think after 2004, they had a beef with Puffy over publishing. And uh, they were saying Puffy wouldn't release them to the, to their, from their publishing. Uh, shortly after this, Puffy released them, released their publishing, whatever, whatever. Uh, Styles P and Jadakiss, all of them, they, they got their own, their publishing, whatever. And, um, 
<laughs> they were really they were really passionate about it. It's funny, you, you know. I I might put it on a uh, I might put it on archives. I don't know, but you can definitely check the video out on the internet. Now, let's get into the features. We got Ayana Irish, Swiss Beats, OJ the Juice Man, Mary J Blige, Jeezy, Styles P, Nas, Avery Storm, Pharrell. Jasmine Sullivan, Ghostface Killer, Raekwon, S.I., Sheik Luch, Neo, Faith Evans, Jeezy, Snipe Life, Bully, A.P., Bo, Boo, Boo Rossini, and Blood Raw, and got Lil Wayne at the height of his career. Now, forgot what I was about to say. I hate don't don't you hate that shit? You forget what you about to say. Oh yeah, Jeezy. I don't think J Jada Kiss and Jeezy on a song never fits. I don't get it. J Jada Kiss is lyrical. Jeezy has J Jeezy's not lyrical at all. Every time I hear Jada Kiss and Jeezy on the song, I'm like, yeah, this song is gonna be bad. Especially if Jeezy's spitting, because Jeezy has to try harder, and Jeezy can't really spit fast. It just it never works. It just never works. I don't even know why they do songs together. But anyway, let's get to the next album. Consignment is actually a mixtape. I made this into a... We're going to make this into a project because we just listened to all their projects. Um, this is a non-DJ version. It's clean. I'm trying to get a non-clean version. Uh, let's get into the... Let's get into the features, man. We got your boy Meek Mill, Young Jock, Fabulous, Lloyd Banks, Jeezy, Yo Gotti, Ace Hood, Styles P, Walk a Flock of Flames, Slim Duck, and French Montana, Two Chains, Imani. Sound like my cousin. <laughs> uh, Swiss Beats, ASAP Rocky, Sid, Sido, Goldie, Swervy, Wale, Future, Gucci Man. So a bunch of different, bunch bunch of different features, and this album cover remind me of uh, Dreamcast. Gives me that Dreamcast vibe. Let's get into his next album. We got top five dead or alive. Let's get into the features, man. We got Puffy, Future, Akon, Swiss Beats, Lil Wayne, Styles P. Neo, Nipsey Hussle, Wiz Khalifa, Jeezy, Young Ads, Exodus, Sheik Luch, Young Buck, Nas, and Chase. It's definitely a dope little album. You know, just in case y'all didn't know, Jada Kiss came out with a new album, man. Y'all better go listen to that shit, man. Shit. Let's get to his final album, man. Ignate Ignatius, however you say that. I don't know how you say that. Who is that? Is that is that Floyd Mayweather? That look like Floyd Mayweather and Usher. Who is that? I don't know. Uh, let's get into the features, man. We got Pusha T, Ty Dollar Signs, Two Chains, Rick Ross, Imani, Dej Loaf, Nino Man, Millie's, John Legend. Chase, Tiana Taylor, and Loso. Now, there's an interesting story behind this song, Hunting Season. Uh, Pusha T had a verse, and this is right around the time uh, Pop, Smoke was, Pop Smoke was killed. And allegedly, the verse was so eerily similar to how Pop Smoke died that they had to redo the verse. And Jada Kiss kind of pushed the album back a little bit. So, uh, is there anything else I know about Jada Kiss? Uh, not much, you know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Uh, Jada Kiss is definitely a legend for because I, I the reason why I do this is I know there's a lot of new uh, there's a new demographic for hip hop. Hip hop is becoming universal. So I want to be able to step in and just give you guys a little bit more knowledge on 
what artists are legends and where they came from and how the music was, and, you know, it didn't just start. I mean, you guys are aware it didn't 